the next half hour is packed with action as we bring you all the news from the world of hockey in this edition of the FIH Hockey World. It's cold and wet back in the UK, so the GB women headed to Perth for a six-match series against Australia and a massive landmark for their captain, Kate Walsh. There was nothing less than a flurry of field goals in the league stage of the 2016 Coal India Hockey India League as the players adapted to the new two-goal rule. Meanwhile, Kalinga Lancer's captain, Moritz Furster, takes time out from leading the team to talk about hockey, India and the first four years of HIL. And it was fever pitch in Ranchi as the final four teams fought for a share of the 60 million rupee prize money in the richest field hockey league in the world. First up, the story of a record breaker. Kate Richardson Walsh, the captain of the Great Britain women's hockey team and already a legend in the sport. Last month saw Great Britain touring Australia for a six match series against Australia. It was a memorable moment for Walsh as she reached an amazing landmark in the fifth game, becoming Great Britain's most capped female player of all time when she made her 356th international appearance, surpassing the 355 cap mark held by assistant coach Karen Brown. My name's Kate Richardson Walsh. I'm the Great Britain and England hockey captain. And I've been in the national side now for 17 years. 2003, we were having a vote as a team and we thought we were voting for co-captains. So everybody put names forward and then the coach said, well, there was an overwhelming vote for one person, so I'm just going to have a captain. And <laughs> I was just blown away, really. I think it's very special to be voted in by teammates. Going into the final game of the six-match series, Australia and Great Britain were all square at one all with everything to play for. Bush did. It's going to be Morgan who takes the shot and puts it in the back of the net. Yeah, well done. Blind is there, feeds it into M. Smith, deflection goal. An opportunity for Nance lurking out the back, will take the shot on goal. Deflection put in down there by Stewart. Bray, just the keeper to beat. Goes with a reverse stick and puts it in. Yeah, that lead caught the Australian defender off guard and then a tidy finish. Pushes in, trapped by Webb, but outside the circle, couldn't push it in. Kate Richardson Walsh on the turn, shot oh. taken right on the goal line, Lee puts it in. Minus 3-2. Australia beat Great Britain 3-2 in the final match to take the six-game series 2-1. I think we've learned a lot uh, just about the way that they like to play and how they like to play against us. And equally, we tried a few different things. Some worked, some didn't, but we're better athletes, I think, and a better team because of it. So going into Rio, we've played a lot of, lot of players and I think we've learned a lot out of it. The next six months really busy. We've got games against uh, India, Ireland, Japan, the Dutch, Germans. We're going to get loads of games in, so we'll be match ready for that. From one hockey star to a lineup of stars, the big names from the hockey world took to the turf for the 2016 edition of the Coal India Hockey India League. Kalinga have taken the lead. Packed with action and excitement, six teams battled it out as the pool stage was drawing to a close. With just two games left, two teams had already booked their place in the semi-finals. 2015 champions Ranchi Rays and the Jai P Punjab Warriors. Two spots were still up for grabs. The Bang Mumbai played host to UP Wizards in their last pool game, both teams requiring a win to keep their hopes of reaching the semi-finals alive. Gurdjian into the deep, shoots across and Gurdjian has scored! Well from one end of the pitch to the other and Gurdjian beats Srijesh to give Darbo Mumbai a two goals to nil lead. This time they go to Raghunath, Raghunath sweeps and it's gone the other side and David Hart looks up to the skies in frustration, high fives on the bench. Raghunath taking on Tyron Pereira, big bulky figure of Raghunath, spins and does really well to get inside the deep, fires it across the goal, Hart saved initially, shot comes in and Chinglin Sana has given the UP Wizards the lead as the second quarter comes to a close. Plays it to Fuchs at the top of the deck. And Fuchs has put Darbo Mumbai into the lead. Nilkanta Sharma picked him out at the top of the circle. And Florian Fuchs made no mistake. 
fizzing the ball past Shrijesh, and that means Mumbai are back in front. Afan Yusuf wins possession again. He's got Gurjan outside him. Gurjan looking to take on Ragunath. Plays it first time. Afan should sweep it out. Oh, he does indeed! And that is a brilliant goal with no goalkeeper. Darvo and Mumbai are going to record a famous victory. Bang Mumbai emerged victorious and moved into fourth place. Devastation though for the UP Wizards as their chances of making the playoffs were gone for 2016. However, the drama was yet to unfold, with the final semi-final lineup dependent on the last pool match between Kalinga Lancers and Delhi Wave Riders. Playing at home, it was a must-win for Delhi, were they able to give it their all. And this time he scores for Delhi. Rapinder Pal Singh puts them towards the finals campaign. His 10th penalty corner of the Coal India Hockey India League 2016 and his side leads 1-0. Rapinder Pal Singh shoots and Rapinder Pal Singh scores. Another blow for Delhi. And they work their way towards Ranchi. Rapinda Pal Singh with his 11th penalty corner goal of the season and Delhi lead 2-0. Harjeet smashes it towards goal. It's deflected from Child. The skipper of Delhi, Simon Child, that puts them 4-0 up. The task just grew by two for Galinga Lancers. Dalvinda has Parvinda. Dalvinda goes to Parvinda and Parvinda puts Delhi Wave Riders in. It was outstanding work riding the wave down the wings. And they've dumped Kalinga Lancers down to fourth. And do we need to start talking about that nine goal loss for Kalinga? The home fans start getting very excited. They know the immense nature of the result tonight for their team and what it means. They're into the finals in third spot. And what a phenomenal win by Delhi tonight. Wave riders beat Lancers convincingly. And the results saw the Delhi franchise climb up three spots from bottom of the league table to the third position. <laughs> Semi-final action later, but now let's enjoy some of the best goals from the pool stage. The Delhi Wave Riders, and again they push. The wonderful pass and a good option there into the day. The shot on goal and it is the game's first goal. Barry Middleton gets a bit of space, a little bit of time. Wonderful work to Jackson. Shoots on goal and the Runchy Rays take the lead. The bench goes nuts. Jarendra Singh loves it. <laughs> Turner's got Harmon Green in front of him, flicks it ahead, first is there, first to into the D, plays it across, Turner gets the goal! What a team goal that was from the heart of defence! Meyer again trying to win it back, Matsili's taking it away from Kuma, feeds it inside the D, comes across and it is a goal scored by the UP Wizards, Akash Deep was the man! Cross and Kalinga Lancers score a goal for the ages. Lalit Dupide finishes beautiful. Ragnar spins and does really well to get inside the deep. Fires it across the goal. Hart saved initially. Shot comes in and Chinglan Sana has given the UP Wizards the lead as the second half comes to, or second quarter comes to a close. drills it in again and it's a touch in front of the goal and the goal has been awarded well i think it was neil kanta sharma who got the touch in front of manchester and that means that dave and mumbai have taken the lead 
Boots looks to play it forward. Manpreet, Manchester comes out. Manpreet gets the second goal for Darbo Mumbai. And that has clinched the game for Darbo Mumbai. That was a great chance now. Beal with the shot. Saved by chance. It's going to dribble in, is it? It's gone in. It is a goal. Tim Deaver getting the final touch. And Ranchi have taken the lead. In part two, all the action from the final weekend and the views of HIL superstar Moritz Furster. Welcome back to the FIH Hockey World. For Germany's ace playmaker, Moritz Förster, Carl India Hockey India League has been a wonderful journey so far. Here is the man himself talking about his views on the league and lots more. Uh, the first time I heard about the HIL was in just after the Olympics, I think, uh, in 2012. I heard about it and I felt excited and and not many players in Germany um, felt the same way. So, yeah, we talked and, yeah, apparently I signed up. Being bought in the auction, uh, for me, it seemed to be the fairest and uh, way of picking teams for such a new league that comes together in the first place. So, uh, I always felt that it's a very smart thing to do, giving every team the same chance and then uh, just going for players they, they, yeah, they're looking for. And uh, for us it's just exciting, it's funny to watch it, uh, to see the teams raising their hands for you and uh, the amount that you actually earn rises as well, so I liked it all the way. Moritz first at 105 and with the Kalinga Lancers, 105, thank you Kalinga Lancers. In the first year, it was basically who could find the most sleep between traveling and playing. And this year, it's really about preparation. And you're going more, even because the Indian players have played more with international players now, you can more go into actually tactical preparations for games. In the first year, you would just go, okay, give Manfred Singh the ball, give Ashley Jackson the ball, and let's go. This year, we're trying to actually also look at tactics and how, what's the other team doing. We're preparing more watching videos of the other teams and um, that evolved because the players are getting more used to the, the, the whole thing that maybe some European or other countries are, have been doing for the last 15 years. I'm not 100% sure if it changed the way people think about hockey, but one thing I can definitely say 100% sure is that it has changed what people think over hockey in India. I think it's especially really, really good and for the development of the Indian hockey. And it, it didn't change the landscape, but it changed the perception of this country as well in terms of hockey. So every player in, in, in the world of hockey, I think, is looking at India at the moment, at least following the results or maybe even watching a game or the highlights on starsports.com. Uh, uh, and uh, that's something that's really, really good for the sport. Building or even creating a team here in the Hockey India League is uh, by far the, the uh, yeah, biggest and strongest uh, challenge that uh, we have to face when we get here. If you say something on the pitch, then um, three players might react in a special, uh, in, a, in a certain way on it to it, and five other players will react totally different because they just hear it differently. I, I, for me, it's a big challenge, and I love challenges, and I also like the challenge around the hockey pitch. In terms of winning this tournament, we knew all the time we have a chance on doing it, but. It, we won't only win it if we are working together for 60 minutes on the, on the pitch. We have to get it right off the pitch as well. Coal India Hockey India League has always been an innovator and this year they have experimented with a radical change. A field goal being worth two goals. 
it seems to have gone down pretty well. Yeah, to be honest, I really like the two-goal rule. A rule. Um, I think it's a very good thing for our sport. Um, I agree that it's harder to score a field goal, and um, I think that's why it's worth two goals, and it should be. We had a lot of situations where five, three, four minutes before the end, one team had a penalty corner and was trying to win the game, and went for the two-point conversion, and they missed. So if they just scored a penalty corner goal, it would have been a draw, but they didn't, and that's interesting. The final four weekend at the Hockey Indoor League is the weekend that's the most fun. Uh, you know, first of all, you know it's over soon, so you, everybody's looking forward to being back home. And so the last two games are just for are the biggest excitement. It's final four. We're just looking to win. Seriously, we're just looking to go out there and win two games, and uh, that would be awesome. Hockey finals weekend in Ranchi is always a loud and colourful affair, as the hordes of local hockey fans flock to the stadium for the climax of the Coal India Hockey India League. After a scintillating phase of round-robin stage across six venues, the pool table looked like this, with the top four teams into the semi-final. Top place Ranchi Rays would play Kalinga Lancers in the second semi final. For that, Jai P Punjab Warriors met Delhi Wave Riders in the first semi final. Jai P were runners up in 2014 and 2015 and were desperate for another crack at the title. Could this be goal number 12 and the early advantage in the semi final? Rapinda Pal Singh shoots and it's the game's opener. Delhi Wave Riders love Rapinda Pal Singh's work and he puts them 1 0 up. Early advantage to Delhi. Good ball in. Armand Qureshi gets the shot. Armand Qureshi puts JP Punjab Warriors in front. Give the man an inch and that's all he needs. An outstanding piece of control, terrific skill, and he puts his side in the lead. The trap is good and Cirillo shoots, Rapindapal closed it down, Knowles goes into the corner, here's Orchard, and there's the goal for JP Punjab Warriors. Orchard bears fruit and puts his side one foot into the tournament decider. JP through to the final for the third time. The other semi-final was between 2015 champions Ranji Reyes and the first time semi-finalist Kalinga Lancers. The match turned out to be a thriller as it went down to the wire. Gajinda and first away. Stopped by Kaspers. Gajinda sweeps level, has not been able to stop it. It's gone in its first blood to Kalinga Lancers, and Gajinda has opened the scoring for them. High fives on the bench, and the fireworks go up in the air. Sarbanji to push in, Kavanagh to stop. He does, Jackson, they work a variation, swept towards the goal, it is an equaliser. Trent Mitten has scored it for Ranchi Reyes. A super spin from Jackson, set up Mitten, who made no mistake and has brought the crowd to their feet and the fireworks into the sky. First up, sweeps, and first has scored. It was a deflection from Glenn Turner. A well worked routine. Turner, the injector, ran into the near post. It was fired towards him. He got the deflection, and that has put Kalinga back in front. Jackson, they're chanting. Jackson sweeps, saved on the line. It's gone in! It's gone in, and Tim Deven is the man who got the final touch, and that will be another goal. Uh, the clock continues to count down. Zalewski launches it in the air. The hooter goes. We're going into a shootout. Middleton eyes only on the ball. The whistle goes. He slows down as he goes into the D. Charter comes out. Charter sweeps it away. Middleton has missed. So if Kalinga score from this attempt, they are in tomorrow's final. The whistle goes, Zalewski makes his way forward, Lovell comes out, Zalewski goes one way or the other, Zalewski rolls and scores! Kalinga are in the final for the first time ever! 
So it would be Kalinga Lancers against JP Punjab Warriors in the final. In the bronze medal match, Delhi Wave Riders met the home team Ranchi Rays. Puts it into the D, the deflection comes. Tyler Lovell again. Another shot and it's in. Man deep has the game's opener. Ashley Jackson controls it. Him against White. There it is. That is full time in the bronze medal match. And Delhi Wave Riders have beaten Ranchi Rays to the minor placing. 35 days, 33 matches, and now just the final to be played. Would a new script be written? Would Jai P Punjab Warriors be able to break their final jinx? Now with 2016 recruits Sadar Singh in the side, could the Indian superstar make the difference and finally take the trophy home to Punjab? Or would the inspirational Moritz Furster lead his young Kalinga side to an unexpected victory? Good chance for Freshie if he can get the shot away. He does better than that. He beats the goalkeeper and it's 2-0 to the JP Punjab Warriors. Sweep for goal, it's Furster. And Furster has pulled a goal back for the Kalinga Lancers. SB Sunil surges into the circle. Just going to have to check by Furster. Deflects back, shot comes in and Goads has got a second goal. Sapir into the circle, Sapir plays it across, it will be a goal, it is another goal and it was actually Sapir who scored the goal. Sardar about to collect his second Hockey India League title. Mahuta goes, it is the end, the JP Punjab Warriors are the champions of the Coal India Hockey India League 2016. The fireworks go off, the celebrations can begin. Uh, past two years, JP is in the final, but we could not make it uh, final. But this year we win it. It's uh, all credit goes to my teammates and uh, happy with the team performance. We started off a bit inconsistent, but we knew that we have a good team and we knew that if we played well, we could win this tournament. Uh, thank you to all the coaches, all the support of JP. They, they treat us very, very well and we've enjoyed our five weeks here. So thank you very much to everyone. Mark Knowles and Sadar Singh went up on stage together to collect the trophy for the Coal India Hockey India League 2016 before being joined by their teammates. Thank you, Honourable Chief Minister, distinguished guests, spectators, fans, viewers and supporters of hockey, press and media. Welcome onto the stage, the winners, the JP Punjab Warriors. So finally, a great win for JP Punjab Warriors, who have always looked strong on paper, only to fail at the final hurdle. Now they can look forward to 2017 with huge confidence. That's it for this month. Keep up with all the news and views in the world of hockey by logging on to FIH.ch. Also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Snapchat to interact with us and stay updated with our exclusive features, photos and much more. We leave you with some tricks by a gang of teenagers from Wellington in New Zealand. Marco, Sahan, Satish and Devan say they love everything about hockey. See you next month.